Hey. So in this video, I'm gonna show how to create the longest lasting Tinder or Bumble or any other dating app accounts. The longest lasting profiles. Hey, my name's Bjorn Olsen from yourorifempire.com. I'm the owner of Your OnlyFans Empire and Empire Forums. Your OnlyFans Empire is a management agency managing girls in top 1% from all over the world, completely remotely. It's different hotel rooms and traveling and all my different videos. Check me out at Bjorn Olsen Official on all major social media platforms. But for now, let's get you back to the video. I see a lot of dating app methods and people will talk about, well, you know, it's more people that are looking for dating app methods. They're looking for a bot or something to create a ton of accounts daily because they are wanting a method that is replacing accounts daily to compensate for the fact that their accounts are getting banned quickly. But I thought, hang on, what if I come up with a way that creates accounts that last for a fucking long time and that way you'll get more conversions because if accounts are constantly churning, you're not giving enough time for all of the matches to funnel through. For example, if you match with a thousand people a day and the account gets banned the next day, you haven't given enough time for all these matches to see the funnel to funnel through. Look, some might have been working overnight. Some might have been working in double shift. Some might have been on holiday. Some might have been on a date. Some might have been doing anything else and they may not have had time to see that match and funnel through. So if you are worried about trying to fix the wrong problem, well, you're gonna get less conversions. You'll feel intelligent, you'll feel like a wizard because you're like, yeah, I'm, I wanna search for the bot, I'm become a black hat hacker and learn how to create these dating apps and create, get it, I'll make a bot. First of all, bots aren't working. And oh, mate, I'll just create a ton of accounts that just keep, I want 100 accounts daily, 100 accounts daily. Bruh, you're putting all of your energy into trying to solve a problem that shouldn't even exist in the first place. Some of our accounts, no word of a lie, have lasted so long that we've been running out of people to match with in certain areas because we're moving location around. We're running out of matches in certain areas because the accounts have lasted that long, all right? Anyway, so let me show you how to do that. One, zero for proxy. You can check this on scamalytics.com. So if you are using a method, I'm assuming you are, that requires proxies, you can check the proxy quality by copying the IP address, pasting it into a website like Scamalytics, and it'll give you a rating. If it's anything but zero, that's gonna be a problem, right? Secondly, you want a static residential or mobile proxy. No data center proxies, no rotating pro proxies because they bounce around and these dating apps see something that doesn't look normal, so they'll flag the account, which means no VPNs either. All right, I'm gonna get a lot of comments saying, why, 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 I've made videos about this, right? I can't, don't have enough time to ramble on just about proxies, right? So zero for proxy. Two, reliable creation method. So we like the iPhone method or there is the app cloner method. If you create accounts on a web browser, the profiles are automatically created with a lower trust score. I don't mean fraud score, fraud scores like proxies. I mean, when dating app profiles get created, these dating apps assign kind of trust score to the account, which means how likely is it that it's fraudulent? Do we need to verify it? Do they need to go through all these hoops and do all these human verifications? That's based on the trust score that gets assigned to the account. I can say with certainty that if you create an account on a web browser, that profile is automatically starting with a lower than normal trust score. That's why it's important to create them on mobiles, whether it's iPhone method or app clone or on Android, and then you can move the accounts to a web browser, but don't create them on web browser, all right? Third, act like a human. What do I mean by this? I mean, humans don't just swipe 200 times right in a row, especially girls. Maybe guys might. Guys might create something and just swipe. Girls don't act like that, do they? Girls would go, hmm, no, hmm, yeah, hmm, yeah, hmm, no, hmm, yeah. Not just bam, 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 bam. Dating apps know this. The first mistake that people make are assuming that these dating app companies are stupid. They are not stupid. They know what we're trying to do. There's been many before us and there'll be many after us. So act human. And I can tell you that a human female does not normally just swipe right 200 times in a row. And therefore, Danny app's gonna pick up on repetition and go, no thanks. 
So how do I recommend to get around this? Swipe left 10% of the time. For example, swipe right nine times, then swipe left once. Swipe right nine times, swipe left once. Where this requires physical labor, so be it. That means the account is gonna last longer. Or you can use a switch control function on iPhone to automate that. I've made another video on how to do that. Or there's an app on Android called ClickMate and some others, they can also automate that. So it is possible, all right? Secondly, acting like a human, you have to message every now and then. So after a session, just send one message. Send one message to anyone. Any of those matches, send a message. Hey, whatever, send a message. Don't just swipe right 200 times and then close the app. Another thing, don't match more than 200 times a day. Well, let's kind of act like a human, but look, let's write it down. Don't match more than 200 times a day. It's funny, I've mentioned this before in one of my YouTube videos. And a guy said, uh, lying, you can swipe right more than 200 times a day. You can match more than 200 times a day. You don't know what you're talking about. I know, but remember the human thing? Do you think a female is gonna sit there and match with more than 200 people? Two, even 200 is a stretch. Do you think a normal human female is gonna match with 200 people in one sitting? Then you couple that with not messaging, you couple that with not swiping left. Dating apps pick up on this bruh, so then the account won't last long, and then lo and behold, next time you get to open it, uh, your account's been banned, all right? So please take it from me. Don't match more than 200 times in a sitting. Even that's a stretch, but what I mean by that is don't match more than 200 times per day. Number five, have a good, subtle funnel. Don't write, add me on Insta, ha <laughs> ha. Same thing, these dating apps know what we're up to, all right? Especially if you're not acting like a human and then your Instagram is just like right there in the bio. Yeah, I know, you see some people add the Instagram and the comment and the bio and it gets away that, yeah, I know, I know. You can these at scale, all right? Exception does not make a rule. So yeah, you might see a couple of girls who put their Insta in the bio and you're like, wow, how'd they get away with that? Don't worry about that. You're creating dating apps at scale. Don't do it, be subtle. Whether it's a watermark on the photos, whether it's a photo of your Instagram profile and putting that in your profile photos, be subtle and know you can't go using the camera emoji for Insta. They know what we're up to. No, you can't go using a ghost. Add me on ghost for Snapchat. Bruh, when I mean subtle, I mean subtle. That's obvious, all right? And that's pretty much it. I want to keep the video short. I could go on for days about this stuff, but that's the basics. That is the fundamental five things to create a Tinder account with the longest lifespan. And that's it. So to keep the video from going for two hours, I'll leave it at that. And you can see on my other videos on actually how to do the dating app method. Pretty sure I've given one on a rundown on the app cloner method as well. It's all there. Otherwise, everything is posted step by step on Empire. So that's it. So if you like the content, go smash like button, smash subscribe button, and I'll see you on another video.